Good afternoon, people. Today we're going to do a repair on this MacBook Air that sometimes the backlight works, sometimes it doesn't work. Will be two things on the laptop. One, of course, as everybody knows, LED drive. Or second, the ribbon cable, yeah, that's going through the board to the LCD could be damaged as well. And of course, maybe could be the screen. I don't think so. I don't see the screen get damaged on the LG. Well, maybe it's gonna be the first time. Anyway, let's put the charge. We got green light over there now. Orange light is charging. Let me see if the machine is going to turn on. I can see life on the screen. Yeah, yeah, I saw it, I saw it. You see, you see? They are refreshing. You see that? Refreshing. Let me move the screen. Wow, now I'm scared. This looks like LED inside the screen. Now I am scared. Anyway, could be also lose connection on, on the LVDS socket on the board. I saw the refreshing try to work. I will shut down the machine. I'm gonna hold the key shut down. And we're gonna open up and have a look what's going on. Could be many things, guys. No, could be as well. Maybe there's some liquid damage on the board. Could be so many things. So let's open the baby here. Let's see what we're gonna find out. Machine itself is not hard to open, guys. There's just few screws. If you get the right tool, you can open easily. And it's kind of hard for me to do the video and hold the mobile phone at the same time. Yeah, 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 I should buy a camera, you know, that can put in my head, a GoPro, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't want to spend money camera. Okay. <clears throat> oh, look beautiful. That's a beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. This is some dust, but look beautiful. Let's check on the other side of the place that we have the problem. So, my dear friend, that is the place that we usually have problem there. Let me zoom the camera, let me check if you can find any corrosion. It looks cool, it looks okay. How the JTAG look like? JTAG look good as well. Tell you what, let's remove this cable here. <coughs> I'm not sure if this one has the sensor here. Some of the board has the sensor over there that detect when you open and close the, the, the screen lid. So I'm gonna disable this cable. If there is some like corrosion, anything over there on this board, once I disable this cable, we have no problem and you know this is gonna work fine. So I put this machine up again. Yeah the machine will power on without the, the cable. Just the light for the charge will not come on. And of course the sound as well. Yeah, the, on. yeah. the battery is dead. I mean there's there's no juice, no power on the battery. You see, you see, see the apple try to fresh up. Yeah. Turn off again. Let me shut down the machine. Now we're gonna remove, put back the LVDS cable to see what happened. Okay, machine is off. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna remove the battery now anyway. Uh, battery's off because I wanted to remove this of this cable. Let me check over there the condition. Look nice, guys. Pretty, pretty decent. I cannot see corrosion over there. Unless if you have something on the other side of the board. Right now, let me take the FDS cable and have a look. It's looking good. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move a little bit the LVDS like this. You see? I'm gonna move a little bit. Try to twist 
to move the escape for the other side. So then we're gonna do a test. See if we're gonna work. I put that with the escape back. Kind of hard to do with one hand, as you guys can see. This is why I have to. Why I don't buy a camera to put in my head. So I can use before. Sorry, guys, coming down. One second. Let me connect that with the escape. Then I get the camera again. Jesus, my God. Also, to uh, twist the cable now, so now it's a little bit hard to get in. Yep. Cables back in. Let's put the machine on. We do a troubleshooting first before jumping any conclusion now. That's the way we can find the problem now and they fix the problem. Machine view to on by itself because we remove the battery. If I remove the battery, machine view to on by itself. Nope. Nope, there you go. You can see the app over there, try to flash it. Yeah. What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna remove it. The LDS cable. I think I have a broken screen here, but that lights up. And then we're gonna do a test. Let me move the, the cable. I'm gonna try to find the broken screen that they have in somewhere here. Then we're gonna do the test. The, you know, guys, the funny thing. Look at the shield over there. Look like the board has been in some kind of cleaning before. Let me see if we can put this thing like, like this. You see? See the shield? Let me clean the shield here. Quick one. Get a paper here. Let me clean the shield. So I guess you can see what I'm talking about. Should, should be shine. You see that? No, I cleaned the shield. That's strange. You see that? Over there as well. The mark on top of the shield. You see? This is a sign of cleaning, you know? When you clean the board. Let me. Let me. Let me give a quick, quick thing over there. It look like. I don't know. You see that now? That's not dusty. That's not dust at all. Let me keep checking this board quick one. Yeah. Look on the microscope. way better than me, guys. But no. What the hell? What's that? Nah. Anyway, let me get the old screen. Alright guys, I got to hear book screen. Look at this, on the screen. So it looks like a spider. Look at the way the screen broken. <laughs> anyway, I connect the book screen on the MacBook Air. Just so we can see if we're gonna see some fresh light, something like that. So we're gonna put in. I probably turn it on, gonna take a little bit of time. Let's see if we're gonna get some fresh light. It's supposed to come on, yeah. You spin out the fan. There we go. As you guys can see, you see? The flashing. Yeah. So it's not a screen prop, it's not. Ribbon cable probably. No, the LVDS ribbon cable, whatever you guys wanna call that, is not the problem. So let's remove it out. Move that old screen out. So it's a board repair. Alright. We're gonna remove this board, we're gonna check on the other side of the board to see what's going on. It's not the cable, it's not the screen, thanks God it's not the screen, it's the board repair. Let's take this board out. Let's check on the other side and see how it looks like this board. Alright, I gotta remove the old screws. Anyway, remove the SSD card, the Wi Fi card. It's a thing funny, guys. Why does rubber look like this? See that? It's funny. Anyway, what's the thing, guys? I always ask you to do on this laptop before remove the board. Exactly. Remove the battery. It's only, look at that. One, two. Three, four, five screws to remove the battery. Why should we remove this battery? Simple reason. Now you can easily remove the flex cable for the trackpad. You see how is this? You try to do this with the battery, you're gonna bend the cable, gonna break the cable. Maybe it will not break it, but oh, probably will break it. But you're going to bend the cable. Then you can easily extract when the LED cable helps. <laughs> the backlight keyboard cable, you can extract easily, and the other things as well. So let's take this board out. Let's see what's going on over here. 
That's strange way that the rub is. I already removed the little screw over there, as you can see. But strange, very strange the way this this thing look like. Let's remove the fan. You know, people think, oh man, they got charged too much to repair the MacBook. But the MacBook is even to open. What can I do? They're not easy to repair, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry if I have to charge some some money you guys think is extortion but it's not easy you see me doing this on the video ah uh, that's easy way that's easy way to do it no way but no it's not easy you can break things so easily i have to hold it uh, it's hard guys because i have to do it with one hand you know i mean usually i don't do like that but now to show you what i'm doing here i have to hold the, the mobile phone with one hand and then take off if you complain Give me a camera because I will not buy a camera to put in my head. Take that screw out. Then we go the screw. Go back there on my magnetic things. There we go. Let's see if there's any more screws around. No, no, no. There's nothing around the board. Just the Wi-Fi cable holding. Jeez, see why? Why I need to use the, the two hands? That is. Let me put the phone down. Quick one, guys. There you go. To go. I was going to put from the that one I managed to take out. Okay. Our target is that baby over there, usually. A little ship over there. Is a ship that brings light. That is send the power to the screen. I can see dust, but I cannot see corrosion. I can see a little track over there, look like it's corroded. I'm gonna check under the microscope soon, and then I can tell you. Right now, I want to see if I can see something corroded on this board by naked ass, by naked ass, <laughs> naked eyes, <laughs> by, naked, by naked eyes. And I don't need to go to the microscope. I'm gonna put the microscope over there. I can see something dodge over there. The camera don't help a lot. The camera don't show a lot. But yeah, that is the ship that sends the power to the LEDs inside the screen. I'm gonna be looking at that ship first. Close, but first I wanna see if we can find any dirt and any damage around, but no, it's looking nice. The other thing we can check out is the connector as well over there. If there is any corrosion on the connector, but look at this, beautiful. No, oh, it's looking nice. If you have a corrosion on the connector, they also can do that. Stupid problem. It must look beautiful. The board itself looks very, very, very nice condition. Maybe just a clean. Could be, but anyway, there is things over there on the LED drive area that I'm not like that much. So yeah, I'm gonna check on the microscope, and then we're gonna see if there is some corrosion over there on the LED drive. Anyway, pause the camera and go to the microscope. All right, guys, I checked on under the microscope. There is this sign of corrosion around this area, in here, that's the backlight area. What I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna do a quick clean, and then I'm gonna have a look what's going to happen. There is some sign of corrosion over there. I'm gonna give a quick clean. Let's see if it's gonna work. After the clean, if it work, of course, you see, you see the dot working here. In the camera, you see it like this, but under the mic microscope, that track, it looks so bad, so bad, you gotta have no idea. So let me give a quick clean and then I'm gonna have a look. Quick clean, we're gonna use the thinners. I don't use alcohol to do some cleans like that. Why I use the thinners? Because the thinners are more strong to remove any residual. So that helps a lot. I'm gonna leave the thinner here for a few minutes. Again, then I'm gonna brush, I'm gonna dry, we're gonna have a look if it's gonna work. If it work, of course, the entire board going to the ultrasonic. I'm gonna have first to check if there's any track very bad corrosion. Remove the track. 
and they go, the, the entire board going to the ultrasound, and they go to the clinic, go to the alcohol, we understand the alcohol dry, then we put it back together. Well, let me give it just a quick clean over there. Ew, look at that. Look at you, take more fingers. Yeah, there we go. All right, guys, I'm back again. I did a quick clean. I put the LVDS cable back again. One thing I tell you guys, be careful with this cable from the back like a board, guys. Make sure you will not let this cable be under the board. You, you see this contact over there? If it's not on the board, making sure something on the board. So keep this cable up, okay? You don't need to connect because of this doing test. Put on your one screw to hold the board. Put the SSD hard drive as well. So, what I found on the microscope, the component over there next to the fuse has a corrosion. Yeah. I just did the clean, but I will, I will have to remove the component over there and make better the the salt, remove that salt, make, put a brand new salt over there. Let me see if my camera can focus. And guys will be able to see the little corrosion that was there. Can you see? Between the spin. Between this pin to the other pin there. What a junky corrosion over there, you know what I mean? We're gonna remove the ship anyway. But as you guys know, we will have to put this board on the ultrasonic and give a proper clean. You guys are gonna see on the video anyway. So right now, let me give a test on the machine. I'm pretty sure going to work because I test the board without nothing and I saw the voltage come over there. Let me lift this thing here because I wanna show you guys something as well. So let's check out. I'm get my meter ready. Oh my god. I can put the red meter. There we go. And I have no place to put oh yeah, I found a place here. <laughs> this one, guys, this one. The apple. Yeah, it's fixed. Already fixed. Let's see. If we can find 25 volts, 24 volts over there. There we go, guys, 24 volts. Check on the meter. Try to hold there, try to hold the meter. There we go, 24 volts. On 13 inch, you find 24 volts, 25. On the 11 inch, you're gonna find like 21 volts. Let me hold the meter, the finger proper here. Yeah, holding proper. You see now, 24 volts going into the LED. And I can see the apple is bright. So let me flip the head top with careful. To see if we can find something on the screen. Yeah, there we go, guys. Yeah, all done. But we should have, oh my God. We should have, uh, it's hard, in one hand. We should have to clean the board, you know what I mean? So, I could send this laptop right now for the customer, like this, done, close and send. But then I tell you guys, what's going to happen in more four or five months if I don't do a proper clean on this board? I tell you what's going to happen. This laptop will give you proper again, this laptop going to return, and then cost going to pay again. And I don't think this is fair. I don't think this is fair. And they also, if I don't pray, if I don't go over there and work out on that corrosion, if I don't make a better salt over there, they probably will happen again. So then imagine the, uh, the customer is doing his working with the laptop, and then the laptop die on him. And then the customer will come back in here, will be upset, you know, and then what, what are I gonna say? I'm sorry, no, I don't think so. I mean, I can say nothing, but if I do the proper job right now, and if this machine dies, I know it wasn't my fault. And then there's something happening, you know I me. Mean? So you take like half an hour, the cost is already paid 150 pounds to get the laptop done. Take more half an hour and you do the job proper, you know I me. Mean? You, you waste a little bit more time, but at the end of the day, you're gonna have a peace of mind now, you can sleep well, you know, you did a good job. So yes, yeah, I'm gonna remove the board, I'm gonna take the sink out, I'm gonna take the heat sink out, I'm gonna take everything out of this board, I'm gonna put on the clean solution, I'm gonna rework over there the solder, and that's it. 
Likely we don't need to change the LED drive, that's beautiful. But we're gonna do the cleaning, the, the proper cleaning of the board. So let me remove the board, let's show you guys the other side. For the LED, so you guys can see it. Jesus, got it. There we go, take it out, take the LED escape out. Pretty hard to do with one hand, oh my god. I'm gonna have to buy the camera at some point, guys. You know, I started pushing myself at the edge. You know, work with one hand, with one hand is hard to even unplug the cables. You know I mean, it's very hard. Anyway, I have a look over there on the LED. One thing if you guys did not notice, I always see that how clean it is now, but of course, gonna be way cleaner. I always remove the shield. See over there, shield remove. The top shoot over there, remove as well. Always when you're gonna clean, if, if you're gonna do a, a quick clean, remove the shield. Because when you dry, if you have the shield over there, we will make a problem for the machine. So anyway, let me take everything out, put this machine to clean. I'm happy because this machine is working. Because the guy is a student, you know what I mean? And he, and he don't have too much money to spend on the machine. Plus he needs this machine ASAP. All right, guys, you can see over there, we made the solder, make a big one, strong solder as well, all the pins. You can see on the other side, the vanish of the board, lose it all to see, Havasco Road over there. So now, this board going through there, exactly. Ultrasonic, you can see as well, I done as well, rework around the LG drive, look now. That's the flux on the board. Now we're gonna put on the ultrasonic and remove it as well everything. Remember to clean the, the CPU before put inside the ultrasonic. And now this board gonna be beautiful. Always remove the six, okay guys? <laughs> make sure you remove the stickers, shields, everything. You don't wanna make a mess inside of you of your ultrasonic. <laughs> Alright, let's put this on. All right, guys, the board is out of the ultrasonic and it now is inside on this container filled with alcohol to get the cleaning solution out of the board. And now we're gonna use the air compressor, bus air underneath the ships, SMC, CPU, make sure the all cleaning solution go away. And then we're gonna put it dry, and then we're gonna check if it's working. Look at the, the component over there. How it looks like now. You see over there? How clean between between the legs. And now guys, like, like I told you guys, you do a job like that, you will not have headache. You people when they told Paul, you waste so much time man, to repair. You should you should not clean this board like that. You waste so much time. And then I told him, no my friend, I'm getting, I'm earning time. How you earn the time? You take so long to fix a board. I said, no. I take a little bit more time. But I know this guy will not come back with the laptop under the warranty. That I'm going to have to stop what I'm doing. That is getting money to do his job for free. So, I will keep doing my job. I will keep doing what I'm doing. I need repair. Money in my pocket. And the customer will not come back with this laptop to make me stop what me doing to make his laptop under the warranty. So if you do the job well done on the first time, you don't you don't gonna need to open the machine again, take the board again to do the proper job. So do the, do the proper job on the first time, guys. It's spend more like half an hour, but to do the job proper. The reason why I'm cleaning the, the, the board, the entire board, is because we don't know if we have if we have corrosion underneath the CPU, for example. You don't know if there's corrosion over there. You don't know if there's corrosion underneath the SMC. You know what I mean? So by cleaning, I know I fix probably that will appear in the future. I know maybe I'm losing money because you now I should let the machine die and then cost me being back again in four or five months time. But on the other hand, 
I know when they do a proper job and the customer don't come back, I know the customer gonna say, wow man, the guy fixed my laptop and it, it lasts, never broke again. Wow, that guy is nice. And then if he know if he knows somebody that has laptop broken, he gonna no he he gonna send it to me. He gonna say no, there's a guy over there, he did a job on my laptop and the laptop working perfect, working nice. Wow. And I tell you something guys. Um unhappy customer, a unhappy customer, or better, a happy customer will tell like 20 people or more, look, there's a guy over there that do a good job. Uh Unhappy customer, he will tell like 500 to 1000 people, don't go over there, don't go over there, don't go over there, don't go over there. So, you know, when you do a job, you are you put your sign, you know, you sign, you know, like when you do a beautiful paint, a masterwork, you put your sign over there. It's the same thing here. I'm doing a masterwork right now, anyway. I hope you guys in the, in the future, when you guys get something to repair. Take your time, do a proper job. That's your name over there. You have put your name on this repair. All right, guys, let's see how this board looks like now, shall we? Look at this. Look, look how shiny this board looks like now. Check it on the other side, guys. Look at that. Take a look at that, guys. Focus the camera. Let's check the LED drive over there. Look at that. Look like a brand new board, guys. A brand spunk new board. You see? Look at, look at this quality, guys. You know, a lot of people say, ah, you try to do your show off on YouTube. No, sorry. First of all, if you guys don't know, I don't even put tags on my video. The reason me doing this video is for customers. That bring his laptop, this, this, the, the customer that bought this MacBook Air, he's get the video. So he's gonna see how I work, what I did on the machine. For friends as well. People that is learn as well. People that don't have the amazing tools like the most of YouTube is using. You know what I mean? And here you see the job, how it's done, you know, on the, on the real thing. I don't need one for YouTube, I don't even don't care. I'm retiring in one year. One year time, I'm gonna be in front of the beach, not working, not depending by pension from the government, living very nice, very good life. I'm gonna be now like a little asshole. I'm gonna be living a very rich life. So I really don't care. But I do like to make the things nice. That's the way my mother brought me in this world, you know. She always told me, do nice, do the things proper, so you don't have to do that again. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna put the sticks back. I'm gonna apply a new thermal paste over there. Nice. <laughs> and then the machine is gonna be up to go. And then I can say 100% this machine will not come back. All right, guys, time to start to put the screws back together. But I want to show you something for you here. You see the screw over there? This one here. This one here is the smallest screw around. Look like the same size of the others, but it is not. This one's a little bit short than the others. And you know what, where the screw going? This one here, you see that? It's shorter. This is screw going there to hold the thumb. Remember guys, you must put the screw in here. If you put a long screw in here, you're going to damage this base in here and it probably will be damaged the board as well. So remember, the short screw going here, hold the fan on this place. By the way, look at the thermal paste that's coming out of, of, of the heat sink. See over there? Gold thermal paste, man. That's the best one. <laughs> All right, guys, everything's back on the place that was before. Oh, something you guys know I always do. You see on the ribbon cable here that going to the LED display. I always put a black tape around the cable. See with the black tape over there. And then you guys ask me, why I put the black tape away? Why? Why? 
You see over there the metal on the body. That cable keeps scratching on the metal. And then, by the time the cable starts to get ripped off, short, and the cable is broken. And sometimes it breaks well the LG drive, open the fuse and break the LG drive. So that's why I put the plastic over there to prolong the time, you know what I mean? So it will take you much more longer for this cable to start snapping. That's why I put the black tape over there. So as you guys can see over here, guys, every single screw has been put back together. If the little screw over there, you see that, the hide screw, you have to understand one thing. When when the customer buys the laptop, he buys the laptop with the full screws, you know what I mean? So he cannot send with Mr. Screw. And like, like I told you, that is a, that is a signatory. You, you do your sign when you repair. So if somebody else opens the laptop one day, to do a repair, he will not say, oh, the screw is missing. Oh my God, look at this, what a mess. You know what I mean? Anyway, battery is back as well. Everything all right the place. Now it's time to give it a test. All right, and put the screw over there. Let's come on. Ah, I can see the lights already blighting. Yeah. Let me flip the laptop. I put the tape over there. So we don't see the customer. The customer. Now, let, let me show you something. That's for the customer as well. Let me find it. You see that? That is the sensor for the for the lead. It's a magnetic sensor. Actually, it's a magnetic switch to say the, the proper thing. Take it off. It's coming on. Sensor. Put it back in. It's off. That is the sensor I was telling you guys. Sometimes you just take you just take the cable out first, so then you guys can see if there's a problem with the sensor. This machine don't need the cable, the data cable for there to work. Okay, don't need, don't need it. It will power on, it will bite up the 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 screen, but you will not have sound, for example. And of course, the USB will not work, and the lights as well will not will not come green or orange. So yeah, guys. There's another repair done. Backlight now is working perfect. The board has been cleaned very well. The machine is charged the battery. And yeah, another repair. And I hope the customer get happy because it took me so long time to do the machine. The most time to close the shop. Like that. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you follow my steps when do the repair. You know, you guys don't wanna, you know, you guys don't wanna be quit size by all the other repairs uh repair center now i don't feel well today guys really really don't feel well i got bad headache i was not even going to do this video i just done this video because i told the course i was going to show him how his machine looked like inside as you can see now the board spunk new how the board look like anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video take care